Hi everyone, I'm Michael and this is Happy English. For today's English lesson, let's take a look at three words that are often confused in English. Cloth, clothes, and wear. First, let's take a look at cloth. Cloth has basically two meanings and uses in English. First, Cloth means a small towel. It's a cloth. It's a cloth. When it's hot outside, sometimes I wipe my forehead with this cloth. Ah, that's a very soft cloth. Here are some other examples. Um, please get a cloth and wipe off that table. I have a special cloth to wipe my glasses. It's a very special cloth. Maybe it's a magic cloth. Oh, yeah. Nice job. Nice cloth. Cloth also means material. It's the material or fabric that is used to make clothes. This shirt is made out of fine Egyptian cotton cloth. I think the boss wears suits made from Italian cloth. If you're a fashion designer and you want to come to New York City to buy cloth, you should try Mood. By the way, this English lesson has not been sponsored by Mood. The next word is clothes. Clothes is spelled C-L-O-T-H-E-S. But most people here in America pronounce this word as clothes. Clothes. Clothes is an uncountable noun. And clothes means what you wear. I could say, you've got nice clothes. Oh, do you like my clothes? Our company CEO wears custom-made clothes. Faye is very fashionable, and she wears really nice clothes. I really like her clothes. Faye, you've got great clothes. The last word is wear. And wear, as a noun, is always used with another word in front of it. For example, there's swimwear underwear, tennis wear, sports wear, footwear. So, you can say to somebody, I like your clothes, but you can't say, I like your wear. Wear always needs another word in front of it. So, the basic difference between clothes and wear is that we use wear with another word in front of it, and we use clothes just by itself. Well, that's our English lesson for today. Do you like to wear casual clothes or formal clothes? Why don't you leave a comment below and let us know? Hey, thanks for studying today, and I'll see you next time right here at Happy English.